Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is a let's play time again. That's kind of the thing we do around here if, if you're new to this shop. Uh, yeah, we're doing some let's plays. This is another replay. And this is one that I've been both excited for and dreading. Um, dreading because it's not very good. Excited for because it's interesting. Let's watch, won't we? green head turned to frisbee red and then an orange man was upset. I need to turn that down. I am sorry. This game is Sun Man. You can tell by the way it says Sun Man. It is a prototype ROM. That doesn't seem to be any better at all. I'm sorry. Um, prototype ROM from the nice people at Sunsoft. It was supposed to be a Superman game, but they lost the license. So I'm guessing the big green head was supposed to be Lex Luthor, and we Sun Man are supposed to be Superman. Uh, very clearly Superman. Yeah, see that? Uh, it's not a great game. I hate to say it. This is another one of those Sunsoft had good ambitions and good ideas, but it just kind of fell through. Uh, it's hard. It's very hard. Um, things are hard to kill. You don't move very well. That's your only attack. There's no eye lasers, no nothing. So you're really kind of limited in what you can and can't do. That's your jump. If you hold it, you jump higher. You double, you fly. You cannot attack in the air. If you try, you gotta be doing a high jump, and you'll stop. So you really gotta fly and then try and punch. Now, I'm using an infinite lives code, not an infinite life code. So I'm going to not be just putting myself in harm's way. There, I don't think, are any power-ups in the game. Like, Journey to Silius is hard, but at least you could get power-ups and you had a ranged attack. Not this game. So, yeah. This is very Batman there. Turn around, because that guy's gonna do a... Ah, I gotta get you to jump. easy enough to just run through. There's another fun story. I actually had to go and get one of my old emulators so I could search and create the infinite lives code. Because the one I've been using, code support is terrible. I haven't figured out a great way to get through this yet. You can't duck because you get hurt. Unless you're supposed to hover. I don't know. This game is weird. <laughs> it's kind of like, you know, we, we had all the assets that we wanted to use because this was supposed to be Superman and then we couldn't Superman, so what are we going to do? It's kind of slightly tweaked the assets. Superman doesn't wear a hood. And his colors are obviously a little different. And I don't know... License-wise, what they got for some of the villains. But, you know, play along at home. Maybe you'll find some. I find it easier to not even try and kill things in that segment. The Sun Man Giant. Oh, I didn't fly enough. Now we have eye lasers. Why that's not an option to have at other times, I don't know.
And that is a very Journey to Silius helicopter. This music is kind of all over the place. It's not terrible, but it's not particularly great. Oh, I forgot about Great Sun Man. Put him over your tacos. Destroy Spectre's Missile Center in Grand Canyon. Word. And now we don't have eye lasers. Yeah, I really don't. I would kind of imagine that somebody would notice a missile installation going in the Grand Canyon, wouldn't you? Like, you know, people do go there. There's probably some sort of park rangers. Ranger Smith. Protecting picnic baskets from bears and specter. Well, this is terribly exciting, but I'm telling you, spend any time trying to kill these guys, you just end up getting wrecked. This may or may not be the first time I'm trying to play through this. Also, this is a thing, if you've never been to the Grand Canyon, um, there are these uh, protruding hexagonal Kryptonian rods that just kind of move on their own. That's why they don't really want you to go in some places. Because it's not safe. Because you get crushed. Or if you're a Superman, you get cancer. Or whatever Krypton does. It makes you look old. According to that, uh... Movie. Uh, one interesting thing. You do take co contact damage. Excuse me. But so do the enemies. The enemies, you can kill an enemy just by letting it bump into you about eight or nine times. That was a death. Sunman doesn't move the best. This might not need to be said, but the flying is really floaty, and you get knocked back crazy not a problem I thought Superman usually had when not fighting other super things. He's kind of slow. Push button! I am pushing the buttons. Not what I was expecting to happen. Still supposed to be pushing the button. Oh yeah, we gotta beat up the missile. I think you can kill these, but I think they just come back. Yeah. Things would be nice, wouldn't they? Why aren't the lasers hitting the missile? Huh? I think that's it. It's, yeah. Great sun, man. Weird color scheme. Stop the runaway train! Only you can do it, super sun, sun guy. Super guy. Great dude. Thunk. Thunk. 
I don't remember this stage at all. I wonder what kind of training those guys on the wall had to do to be able to learn how to do that without getting distracted. We're just gonna... Push button. But I have turbo button. Will the turbo be enough? Yeah, let's go. That's a very old-timey train. There is an old-timey train somewhere in Colorado. Over by Golden, I think. Where you can, uh... Ride like that. For the most part, I don't think we use trains like that anymore. So we gotta beat up a motorboat. I remember this. I think I remember this one. We are gonna have a... An interesting cameo the game here soon. It's, it's like Karnov's more athletic, less baby-eating brother. This is what you're missing if I stay in fight. Okay. Me bumping into an enemy because Sun Man has momentum. Me desperately trying to hit the guy because they like to sit right on top of me. And taking a crane to the face. Oh, there it goes. It's the Ninja Turtle boat. can't go forward from here. We're just really kind of stuck there. So. Yeah. Great sun, man. Spectre's hideout. Chase Spectre to the dead end and defeat him. This isn't Bionic Commando at all. So here's what you miss in these stages. If I don't Stand and fight. Like I said, there's no benefit to it. There's there's no power ups, there's no points. And that's just it. Oh yeah, that pause thing? Totally not Superman. Totally not Superman. This is why I, uh, I don't believe in it. We'll just avoid any confrontation we possibly can. There are some nice things, like the backgrounds look really good, the stages look really good, the enemy design is actually really pretty good. It just, you know, I would have liked to have seen this get finished. Stop falling, please. I would have liked to have seen this get finished and cleaned up. You know, rebalance it a little bit, add some power-ups, give me the option to do the you know, laser eye attacks. Like, that hitbox on the lasers really could have been fixed. The jumping could be better. If this was a game that I think more people were interested in, you might get somebody who does ROM hacks to look at it, but nobody knows about Sun Man. For good reason. Not very good. I believe, now that we're almost done with the game, that I actually did this as a monthly? Sunsoft games? I guess we'll see. We'll see where it goes when I add it to the site. It's a... Uh... I 
I think what it means for, and this is gonna sound silly. Great, those those hurt. You can't stand on them like you would think you could. Um, in terms of gaming history, it's just because you guys know Sunsoft. Sunsoft had the Gremlins license. They had the Batman license. They were supposed to get Terminator, and that didn't work out, so it became Journey to Silius. They're supposed to get Superman here, which didn't work out, so it became a uh, Sunman. And then they did a bunch of like Looney Tunes games. So they've had licenses. But we can't attack in this section at all, by the way. And this is totally gradius. So, I mean, just to see another game that Sunsoft had that could have been something different. You don't look anything like you did in the opening, Purple Man. I don't know why I turned around there. You guys remember when Lex Luthor could fly and had telekinetic powers? Why would this be here? Why would you make, like, I'm gonna make a evil lair. Right. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a dead end in it. I'm gonna make rocks come out from the floor and tiles from the ceiling. They're ceramic, so they're very sharp. The tiles, not the rocks. I must have got him down a little bit. Teleporting faster. Oh, telefrag me, huh? Quake. Okay. I don't know if punching, like, doing the full combo. Like, I don't know when he stops getting hurt, because it looks like it's making the little tick mark flash mark thing when you punch him, see when he's gone? I don't know. Anyway, we beat Spectre. There's America. You know how the Statue of Liberty is in the forest in Montana. Now and forever. Oh, that means there won't be a sequel. That's very much a Robo Warrior shot right there. Well, Kenji, I hate to tell you this, but your plan <laughs> didn't pan out. Good graphics, though. Didn't go in Yoshiaki. Uh, programming? I don't know about that. Uh, it's it's not a great game. I'm gonna tell you, just you know, we talked about it. Sunman isn't a fantastic game. It isn't a gaming spectacle of awe and whimsy and wonder, but, you know. Why were you thanking Joe and Rita? And Dave? And Steve? And Al? And why isn't Al's name on two lines? And Karen. Thanks, Karen. And... Well, a good guy. Good work, guys? Um...
Doesn't this doesn't this track just fill you with a sense of accomplishment? Watch for next Sun Soft game. Great Sun Man. 